guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a review video on the Makeup Forever Lustrous Blush Palette that I picked up during the VIB Rouge sale. I thought I would get this review up for you guys. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this face palette, let's get right into it. Really quick though, I do want to mention I do have a giveaway going on right now. I will put the link in the description box. It is for a ColourPop X My Little Pony palette. I just want to say thank you to everyone that is subscribed to my channel and watches my videos. So if you guys are interested in entering that giveaway, the link is down below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me, and I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Okay guys, so this palette, it is quite the splurge. Now this is the Makeup Forever Lustrous Blush Palette, like I said in the introduction. This initially caught my eye when I saw it on the Trendwood One Instagram page. She posted it, I think, with their Lustrous Eyeshadow Palette, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I need to go get it. I went on the Sephora site. It wasn't available yet. I believe it came available like the week of the VIB sale. And I was like, oh my god, I want the palette. I want the palette. I want the palette. And I was like, Karen, wait for the sale. Wait for the sale. So I held off. It was still in stock when the VIB Rouge sale started. So I took that as my cue to pick this up. And so I did. Now, I would definitely say this is in the high-end category for me. I would even put it in the luxury care category because as I was making notes to film this video, I realized this is the most expensive item of makeup I own. It cost more than the Pat McGrath Labs eyeshadow palettes and you guys know those are expensive. This thing is $150. Like I'm a little bit ashamed to say that out loud. Anyway, as far as the back, uh, background on Makeup Forever, I did do some research. I actually read the information on the Sephora website, and turns out the brand was founded by a professional makeup artist about 20-something years ago, and Makeup Forever is definitely known for vibrant colors. They have all these cool, like, special effect type stuff, but you can still just go to a Sephora and get that. You don't have to be like a makeup professional or like a, a working makeup artist, I guess. But it is definitely like a pro line. A lot of the things are tailored to pro artists, but then they are also very easily accessible. And I love that they have this like huge foundation range. So a lot of cool things that they do. I'm not like a huge like Makeup Forever junkie. I know there's a lot of them out there. Like some people like swear by their eyeshadow palettes and things like that. That's definitely not me. I have dabbled here and there. I bought, I think their foundation once. I didn't like the color. I did try one of their like highlighters. I didn't understand the formula at the time. So I did take that back. I did try their eyeshadow, their pro eyeshadow formula. I don't really like that formula. And every once in a while I'll see somebody on YouTube saying that and I'm like, yes. I'm not the only person out there that doesn't like Makeup Forever eyeshadow palettes. I, I think it's just me. I just don't understand how to work with that formula. But if you like it, you know, good for you. I think they're hella expensive, to be very honest. So I'm glad I don't like them because I'd be in so much trouble if I started collecting those eyeshadows. So like I had mentioned, I did get this on the Sephora.com website. I didn't even actually check on the Makeup Forever website to see if this was available. I don't really know why you would buy it on Makeup Forever's website because you can get it on Sephora.com. You can get it on sale if you got it during the Rouge sale or the VIB sale. And you can return it if you don't like it, which is why I bought it on Sephora.com. I do believe this palette is limited edition. I think this is a holiday palette. And it, like I said, retails for $150 and has a $290 value. Like, I feel like I should get a safe in my makeup room so I can lock up some of this stuff because... Heaven forbid some YouTube watching burglar gets into my house and get, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Sorry. So packaging, interesting, right? It's a tin. It's exactly like those Makeup Forever palettes that are huge, but um, those have like a hinge. This one just comes apart, which I think makes sense because I can just like work with it like this. And there is this like plastic coating on the top just to make it look a little bit fancy and then this is the Makeup Forever logo 
I like this packaging. I left the plastic on because this is like that plastic that is on the Jaclyn Hill palette from Becca and I don't know if you guys have a lot of experience but if you set stuff down on it it's pretty sticky and things tend to like stick on it and it's hard to pry it apart so I'm gonna keep the plastic on there because why not ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do and this is what it looks like I believe this is just foam so you can depot these you just have to remember not to like tip this over because this foam part will I think fall out um, but you are able to depop these, which is nice. Maybe I'll do that someday. I don't know yet. So far, I just really like the presentation in here. And I like that you can take it out and then just, like, leave it and, like, use it like a paint palette, you know? It has that vibe. So, yeah, I like this packaging. This is what the outer box looks like. It's very simple. Nothing fancy. I just think this is a fun palette to look at. Like, if you're into makeup, it just looks so cool. It's huge. It's a wonderful palette and I love the packaging. I did find when I did my research, this is made in Italy and each pan is 0.17 ounces, which is a decent amount of product. So as far as shade selection goes, there are four sculpting shades here. So let me actually flip this around. Obviously from lightest to darkest. And then there are two matte blushes, which are these two shades. And then these two are, this one is definitely like a shimmery blush. Kind of reminds me of the Becca, those like mineralized blushes that they have that are super glowy. This one is really beautiful. So it's like a hybrid of like a highlight and a blush. And then this one is like a satin blush. It has a very light sheen to it, but I think if I wanted to, I could even set like a really light skin person's under eye with that. And then there are two matte highlighting shades. So I use these, I can use both of these to set my under eye and then two shimmery highlights. I have actually had this makeup on pretty much all day today. So I just wanted to touch up on my highlighter, but I did film a demo of me applying these products earlier this afternoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that in this video so you guys can see how I apply these products. Okay, so I did think it would be helpful if I actually demoed this palette for you guys. So of course I have like my eye makeup, my face makeup, I just need to set my foundation and bronze and highlight and stuff like that. So here is the palette again and for highlighting underneath my eyes, I usually like to use this shade. It's like a banana color and let me tell you what it is let's see here so that one's gonna be h108 it's definitely on the darker side so if you're a lighter skin tone you could probably use this one which is h104 i kind of go back and forth to be honest and i like to use this under my eyes with this big fluffy brush and i also like to just put some on all over my face just to kind of set my foundation and smoothing things out. So yeah, this formula is really beautiful. I personally am really enjoying this. And then for contour, I like to use the Real Techniques contour brush and I've been dipping into this shade, which is S188, which is one of their sculpting shades. And I don't really contour very much. Whoa, that was really deep. I must have really gone in hard. <laughs> Let me blend that out here. Let me grab my Tom Ford brush and just blend that out. I don't really need a lot of contour today as I'm just, all I'm doing is hanging out with my friends. So yeah, there we go. And then this blush, oh my gosh, I love it. It looks a lot like the Benefit California blush. I think the formula is probably a little bit better because it's Makeup Forever and this is the PK4. This is the one I've been using to use the blush on here so that's the color that's already on here and i like to just throw that on the apples of my cheeks just to give it like a nice flush of like being outside and like my cheeks are rosy super cute blush right and then i really like this blush too in here this one is b302 and then this other coral one is b316 in case you guys are interested in picking them up in individuals okay and then for highlight i've been loving this highlight that's the only highlighter actually in here and that's h106 if you don't want to buy this huge palette i'm just telling you the number so you can buy the full size like on its own and I've just been loving this highlighter because I think it's like subtle enough, but this shade just works so perfectly with my skin tone. And I've just been like loving 
life with this highlight. So as you can see it right there, right there. My skin looks a little bit glowy right now anyway because I just put on the Sunday Riley uh, Flora Oil. So the foundation I have on is very, very matte. So I use the Flora Oil underneath it just to, you know, hydrate my skin. That oil smells really bad. Oh my gosh, I have some of the other Sunday Riley oils. And that one is the worst. Anyway, just wanted to demo the palette for you guys. So let's get back into my review. Okay, guys, I hope you found that demo helpful. I love seeing little demos like that just because you can see how the product performs. Now, one thing I do love about this palette is how long the powders wear. I am not a blush junkie by any means, and I'm actually trying not to buy any blushes, but I love a blush that'll wear gracefully all day long and this formula this blush formula like I've had this blush on since about noon today and it is currently 8 9 p.m. when I'm filming this so I just feel like it's worn so beautifully my highlighter did fade but you know I've eaten today I have been to Costco like I've had a lot going on this Sunday evening so I feel like the blush though I can still see it I'm wearing this coral shade it has just been my love for winter. Like this and Benefits California blush are very similar in my mind. And when you look at them, they're like very hot coral shades and you're like, where the hell am I gonna wear that? Like California came out in the summer and I thought, ooh, that's a great summer shade. But I'm actually really enjoying wearing like a pop of coral in the winter time because it kind of gives that illusion of you've been outside and you're a little cold, so your cheeks are a little bit rosy, coral, like you're looking a little warm. So I don't know, I just love that look. So let me know if you guys are enjoying that or if it's just me, but I think that's kind of a trend for winter right now, or I made it up in my head, but either way, I really like it. So I really enjoy like the shade selection they put in here. And I think obviously if you look at this, it definitely caters to multiple different skin tones. Now, if you are a regular human being, you probably don't need to go buy this whole palette. But like I've talked about it on Snapchat, sometimes I like to do makeup. Um, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like a professional makeup artist, but I definitely do special occasion makeup and like prom makeup and wedding makeup and like senior photos and things like that. And a lot of people I work on are lighter than me. So I'm so happy I have this palette because I was actually doing my friend Lori's makeup the other day and I didn't have to reach for another palette. I could just do her whole face with this palette and then work on my face right after because I had an event to go to as well. So super versatile. If you are a makeup artist, I think you definitely would love having this in your kit. If you're a regular makeup connoisseur like me and you just like to try different things, I would recommend this. They also have a smaller kit that was curated by Jessie J, I believe. She's their brand ambassador or something like that. I'll pop a picture of it on the screen for you guys. Two of the three shades in that palette are in this one. So if you don't want to invest in this one, I would say pick that out. Otherwise, go to this palette and just pick the three shades that will correspond with your skin tone. I think that'll work really well for you guys because the reason I was hesitating to buy these when they first came out was like, I don't know what these colors are gonna look like on my skin tone. I didn't know and the description wasn't good enough and a lot of the people that got this palette for PR were not my skin tone. So it's very hard to do. So in the demo, I wanted you guys to see like what shades worked on me. So if you like this palette, at least you can like buy those individual shades and create something that works for you. Now, the more you buy, the bigger the discount. So if you buy three of these, you can actually get three for $45. Plus, if you get it during the sale, you'll get 20% off, which I think is a great price. Otherwise, go ahead and check out that one that Jessie J created because I think that one is gonna work really well for people with my skin. Okay, so one of the big drawbacks of this palette is the shelf life. It does say that it's six months. Now, personally, I've not really had a powder product 
go like bad on me in six months, but that is something to keep in mind. I really don't worry about it, and I didn't realize it when I was buying the palette, so it is what it is. Either way, I'm gonna keep it, and I don't believe Makeup Forever is vegan or cruelty-free. I checked on Logical Harmony, and they're not on their list, so I'm assuming they are not cruelty free i'm not sure if you guys know let us know in the description box i do try to mention if things are cruelty free or vegan but sometimes it's just really hard to find the information and look at like the information on this palette like it's so hard to read i'm like seriously who is gonna sit here and read all these ingredients not this girl let me tell you okay so also i wanted to talk about application and wear time i feel like you can definitely see these are very easy to work with blend and they're so buttery and like the highlighter I just feel like it melts into my skin and that's something I love about face products I love face products that don't look cakey or heavy or like a clown like I feel like yes you can see my blush but I don't feel like it looks like I over applied anything which I think is wonderful wear time is awesome on these powders I feel like I can go a full day work food lunch blah 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 and it'll still last all day long so I am 100% in love with this palette. Now, if you haven't seen the swatches, I do have a quick little swatch video. I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out. And for the million dollar question, would I recommend this palette? I would, guys. I disagree with the pricing, but you are able to create a cheaper palette for yourself. If you don't want to go ahead and buy this big guy, you can buy a smaller three pan for yourself and kind of create the shadows that way. I just thought this would be an incredible savings for me instead of trying to get a few different colors to just go ahead and invest in this one because it has multiple different skin tones. So it'll come really in handy for me if I'm working on different clients with different skin tones. And what I really like is there's a shade for people darker than me too because if I ever get a client with a deeper skin tone, I don't really have a whole lot. And since I don't do this all the time, it's really hard for me to like full blown invest in my kit because it's not like I do people's makeup every day and it's not a very like steady income stream. So this way I feel like I have something I can play with, but if I need to do somebody else's makeup, it still comes in handy. So that's a wonderful palette. I would recommend it for you guys for sure. If you can get it on sale, even better. If you can use Ebates, even better <laughs> so you can get some cash back on it. But I really love this palette. So I'm gonna stop blabbering. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it useful and entertaining. Definitely let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please enter that giveaway, guys. I would love for one of my subscribers to win that palette. Obviously, you have to be subscribed to win the palette, but I just want to say thank you to as many of you as I can uh, for supporting me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!